G'day, it's John Willis from Club Marine TV and I'm a bit excited because I'm up at Camden Haven Marine up near Port Macquarie and I'm picking up this wonderful Formosa 580 SRT with the gutsy 175 horsepower Suzuki four stroke outboard with fly-by wire. This one's got the extra volume of that extended higher cabin and it really makes a big difference. We'll see a bit more of that later. We're going to have a heap of fun at Southwest Rocks so I can't wait, haven't been there for ages, let's get going. Well, I've just left the boat ramp and I must say how impressed I am, this is just feel such a voluptuous boat, it really does. For a 5.8 metre boat, it's got such a wide beam, such wide shoulders, and good internal depth as well, that just gives you so much room. But I guess it's also accentuated by that vision cab layout, bringing that cabin roof up, which hasn't affected the dashboard height at all. It's actually worked really well for them, but it just gives it that expansive feel and plenty of storage to go with it. The helm layout is just terrific, really visual, really easy to see, all well laid out. You've got, of course, the Hummingbird Helix 12, which has just given me all the information I could need in, on, around, under, where I've been, where I want to go. You've got the Suzuki multifunction gauge up here, which has given me all of my readouts, everything I ever needed to know. You've got a rock box there from GME that sounds just great. And of course, communications with both VHF and 27 meg as well. Suzuki controls, flush mounted, they're just good. Nice and comfortable too. It's all at the right position and the right height. This one's got the troll mode with it as well. So we can just, while we're trolling, we can just touch the button for really minute changes in the speed, which is great when you're trolling a pattern. This one's got uh, fly-by-wire as well, so the control is just absolutely instantaneous on that Suzuki 175 horsepower motor, which is just full of grunt, quiet and confident. There's a lot of features here to really like. You know, we've got the bolster seating, so you can either sit down to steer or stand up as well. When you're sitting down, you can actually see through the screen really well. But standing up gives great vision, slightly over the dashboard, through the clears. And don't forget, you've got the protection of this Ripper hardtop with rocket launcher, which is great for getting all your gear up and out of the way. But for storage, it also tilts back as well. So it's just a standard height boat. I must say, I reckon this windscreen's one of the toughest on the market too, and I really like the way they've done it. It's almost the little quarter vent windows of the past, but it's added so much strength and a little bit more character to it as well. So the visibility is just great. And how many times do you look for a good solid handrail, particularly when you're in a sea? This one's got the full width one going all the way around. It's just terrific. There's plenty of room for all your knickknacks. Those cup holders actually take a, uh, a decent sized plastic bottle as well. Um, and there's a whole heap of terrific layout features and the build quality is actually very good as well. So good welding, good engineering, good layout, great ideas. You just gotta love the transom and the layout of the Formosa 580. It's absolutely huge back here with that full beam, nice high sides and deck area that you could have a dance in. It really is. Doesn't matter what your boating interests, that's most important to everybody. So you've got room for scuba tanks, for your diving, for your fishing, no matter what it might be. Or it might be just fold the seat down and have the family with you. But the layout's great. You've got the doorway on the port side that just goes straight through to a lovely little platform and a dive ladder. So it's really easy access whether you're in and out of the water or in and out on land as well. So great for loading. This uh, bait board combination live bait tank setup is just a ripper. It's got really handy storage for your knives, cutting board, lift the hatch and you're straight into a fully plumbed live bait tank. It's a beauty. And don't forget those footholds all the way around that just make a boat so much more comfortable, particularly when you're in a little bit of sea. The other thing that makes life comfortable is not having all your knickknacks scattered around in bags and lying around the floor. So this one's got plenty of storage, including tackle storage on the port side as well. 
It really does make a huge difference having that raised cabin. And what people may not think about is these little windows. When the kids come in here to play on their iPads or whatever they're playing with at the time, they're going to have a horizon to look at through the window, which means they don't get seasick. Nice little touch. But it's great. It really does give it a lot more room, a lot more access. It's full length bunk so you can sleep. There is a bunk in fill available as well to make it one big berth. There's a recess for a porta potty under the nicely padded and upholstered uh, cushions as well. One touch I really like was the access behind the dashboard for serviceability. Really nice and easy and open. Great storage again through the side pockets and a great big hatch here. So if you do need to get out the front of the boat, if you go to the anchor or just tying up, getting in and out, it's really quite easy. I'm gonna put my bum to you. <laughs> Just running around now, lining up to uh, come back in through the uh, for the rhythm out the bar. It's actually pretty good at the moment. It's not too bad. It was a bit choppy out around the corner, so we got to test the hull pretty well. It's a very confident hull. Um, you can feel the beam. You can certainly feel the beam in the stability. And when it comes time to come back home in the dark at the end of a long day, you've got these Ripper Taipan headlights to show you the way. Don't you love seeing that Australian made sign? And I do love the marketing. Aquatic weaponry, says a mouthful, doesn't it? Formosa have also changed their hull design. They've gone to a deeper V. It's now a 19 degree V. And there is ballast tanks here as well. So it fills up when you're at rest, makes it more stable. Formosa go with a very full bow design. Right through here, it's really wide in the shoulders through here, which means in a following sea, you've got a lot of displacement keep for flotation. It also means you've got a lot of room inside the boat. There's a lot of volume in there. But the one negative is in a hard sea, in a really choppy sea, you are displacing more water, so the entry will be slightly harder. We've had a couple of wonderful days at beautiful Southwest Rocks in this formidable Formosa. 580 SRT Vision Cab. It's an absolute beauty. Four mil plate, armor plated hull with plenty of room and very, very capable all round. It's a great boat for the family. It's a great boat for a serious fisherman or diver. It'll do the whole lot. I find it particularly good value for money. This has been John Willis for Club Marine TV.